Pacing is vital to any form of entertainment product, be it films, books, or even music. So it stands to reason that video games should also pay due attention to how a game is structured, how long it would take players to do the critical content, and how long it would take to see all that the game has to offer. When ignored, games could bloat up with oodles of content that result in an inconsistent experience at best, and a repetitive slog at worst. To that end, here are 10 games with pacing issues. Please note that many of these games are really good games, and pacing issues aren't indicative of them being bad by any stretch. With that out of the way, let's begin. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain's tale of a turbulent development cycle is well known at this point, which ultimately resulted in a breakup between series creator Kojima and developer Konami. And while the game is still excellent in so many ways, cracks do rear their head, especially in the pacing department. The game starts off really strong, with missions slowly building in complexity as you track down Skullface, but after a certain point in the game, Players are subjected to repeated missions that increase the difficulty and put additional conditions for completion. This particular stretch feels especially jarring, considering how varied levels previous games featured. To add to that, completing these missions is absolutely vital to achieving the game's ending. This pain is ours, and no one else's. The secret weapon we wield out of sight. We will be stronger than ever for our peace. Days Gone Sony Benz's Days Gone is a game that's proven to be divisive amongst fans. While some absolutely swear by it, others have had a rather lukewarm reception, on account of its pacing issues among other things. Many of Days Gone's missions are uneventful and uninteresting. Additionally, the game's distinguishing feature, the Freaker Hordes, is kept hostage for the majority of its runtime, as players are subjected to repetitive missions again and again, which results in a frustrating experience. Death Stranding Kojima Productions' Death Stranding is not everyone's cup of tea, but it's easy to see those who liked it singing endless praises about it. But even the most devoted of fans would agree that the game does suffer from pacing issues, and most of it stems from the nature of Death Stranding's gameplay. The majority of the game entails completing deliveries from one point to the other, as you face intentionally frustrating situations like BTs, Timefall, and Mules which can start to get repetitive after a while. On top of that, the story is paced inconsistently, with a major portion of the game's runtime seeming uneventful to the larger story, which adds to the frustration at times. But if you manage to drudge through these issues, Death Stranding is an experience like no other. Fable 3 Fable 3 is an epic tale set against the mystical backdrop of Albion and requires players to put in copious amounts of time to get through this adventure. Just getting through the main story takes around 35 hours, but even that time is plagued with pacing issues that can be attributed to the stingy progression and gated out content. It's easy to think that Fable 3 just keeps on going for far too long, and we can't blame you for having that assumption. Red Dead Redemption 2 John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Red Dead Redemption 2 is a sprawling tale about the Vanderlyn gang trying to outrun a rapidly changing America. And while the experience is best taken at your own pace, even following just the critical path will require you to spend dozens upon dozens of hours. Of course, not all missions are created equal, and some portions of the game are straight up not fun to get through when compared to others. Additionally, 
The combat loop of hiding behind cover and taking down targets also starts to get boring after a while, which makes trudging through this lengthy tale of redemption boring at times. That said, Arthur's character arc is irrefutably one that is worth experiencing by all. God of War 2018 Sony Santa Monica delivered an excellent combination of a sincere narrative and heart-thumping combat with 2018's God of War, although it can be inconsistent with its pacing at times. The game starts out strong, and does a great job at doling out new mechanics, and if you stick to the critical path, God of War does have a great sense of pacing, but those seeking to complete the tougher challenges, like Valkyrie fights, will have to grind a lot of high-level gear to even stand a chance against these beasts, which can heavily ruin the overall pacing in that case. Fallout 4 Fallout 4 features a sprawling post-apocalyptic open world that's dotted with interesting quests to complete and characters to meet. While the main quest isn't all that lengthy by itself, more often than not, you will have to partake in a number of side quests to upgrade your character to the required level and stats. These side quests aren't bad by any means, but they can hamper the pacing heavily for those wanting to make a beeline for the critical path. Persona 5 Royal Easily one of the longest games on this list, Persona 5 is absolutely chock full of amazing content that should keep players engaged for hundreds of hours. On top of the already lengthy 100 hour campaign of the original, Persona 5 Royal adds oodles of new content, including, but not limited to a third semester, new locations, events, and more. While the story is certainly enchanting, and one worth experiencing through to the end, you could certainly get tired of slashing through monsters and crawling through dungeons after a while, contributing to the feeling that the game is going on for way longer than it needs to go. Tales of Arise Much like Persona 5 which we discussed before, Tales of Arise is a sprawling journey through a fantastical land filled with a plethora of enemy types and monsters. Playing through Tales of Arise is a lengthy endeavor, and even seeing the bare minimum that the game offers will take around 50 hours. That long duration is made even longer by inconsistent writing and chunks of the story that don't quite move the plot forward. Pokemon Sun and Moon Pokemon Sun and Moon is a fine enough game with plenty of merits to its name but the game suffers from a laundry list of pacing issues. Pokemon Sun and Moon starts out strong with varied content and an appropriately paced story, but quickly devolves into an aimless adventure as players are subjected to trials after trials with little in the name of story developments, which can make it feel like a slog for that duration. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe we upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.